Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Well, thank you very much for sending in your questions. I will try to get back to each one of you. Uh, one question though, I got from uh, Chris Conan. He asked, uh, what one trait that makes a person successful in sales? Well, to find out what is that one trait that makes a person successful in sales, first we need to look at the problem chart of it. The problem chart to identify what is that one single biggest challenge that majority of the salespeople are facing that impact majority of their customer engagements or deals. And if we could find the challenge and its answer, then that automatically becomes the number one trait that salespeople should have to be successful in sales. Well, as per one of the recent survey that was done by a firm called as 80 Kearney in 2018, they did a survey, interviewed 50,000 sales professionals across the globe. And uh, to identify uh, their top challenges, and one of the top challenges that was identified is gaining customers' appointments. Well, there are others that have also been identified, such as negotiations, uh, lead management, or uh, identifying customer needs. But the single biggest reason why salespeople struggle in sales is gaining customer's appointment. Now, if we could figure out the solution to this, how to crack appointments with the prospects, that's going to solve or impact majority or right 60 to 70 percent of your customer engagements and deals. And that becomes the number one trait to be successful in sales. Well, to crack uh, appointments, there are two ways of doing it. One is the law of familiarity. In law of familiarity, if you could figure out a relationship with the prospect, such as uh, being a friend or acquaintance or a referral from an existing customer, then automatically he opens the gates for you and you get the appointment. Now it may sound simple, but it's very rare. It's hard to find a relationship or it's hard to find a referral. So uh, most of the time you would be on your own and uh, with no helping hand. So the second law is uh, law of WIIFM. What's in it for me? So if you could, as a salesman, show value in a meeting that why a customer should uh, meet you and what value he can expect from you, he's going to automatically open the gates for you and you get the appointment. And this is where majority of the salespeople are struggling and uh, failing to get appointments because they are confused what is value to the customer. Most of the time you will find salespeople on the phone or when meeting a prospect in person, they try to bombard him with all kind of glorious features that the product or service has, amazing customer list that they have or they are working with, or the impressive uh, awards and recognitions they have, their company has gained over a period of time. They think it's value and when they say it, customer will be attracted and they are going to get automatically get appointment. But the fact is, this isn't value to the customer. Let me give you a simple example of a shirt and try to explain it to you. So uh, majority of the salespeople you will see uh, selling shirts, they're going to talk about uh, what kind of stain proof uh, this uh, shirt is or what kind of uh, imported linen it has, reasonable price it has, wrinkle free it is. So these are the features and they think it's value to the customer, but it's not. And that's the reason customer hits back with all kinds of objections such as call me back or I'm not interested or we already have a solution in place, send me an email or call me next month and you don't get any appointment. It's pretty simple. Features are no value to the customer. So uh, what is that value? What are those things that you should talk about that is value to the customer and he would be ready to exchange his time for a meeting for your proposition? Well, to understand that, let me show you the value proposition triangle and how the value works, what is more important for the customer and what is not. Let me explain this through a value proposition triangle. Okay, so this is the triangle that I call the value proposition triangle or what's in it for me triangle, WIIFM triangle. This triangle will help you decode the mystery of why 80% of the salespeople struggle in gaining appointments with the prospects on first contact and why remaining 20% are doing it consistently without with ease without any massive efforts involved. This triangle has three sections as you can see what, how and why. So these are the methodologies that salespeople uh, follow to convince customers for appointments. 
The percentage alongside uh, represents the number of salespeople following the highlighted methodology. Color coding represents the success level in gaining appointments according to the industry standards. So red represents salespeople who are delivering below average performance in gaining appointments over phone, email, social media or in person. Orange represents uh, salespeople who deliver average performance whereas uh, green represents salespeople who deliver top performance in booking appointments. So as you can easily make it out, 60% of the salespeople focus on uh, what part of their product or service such as what a product can offer. In the same example of the shirt, the what part is it's wrinkle free, stain proof etc. This does not accurately communicate the value proposition prospects can expect from it and as a result he avoids sales people. 20% of the salespeople describe the how part of their product or service. To give you an example of the shirt, how people can use this shirt as a party wear or a formal wear for their uh, meetings and stuff like that. Now this does attract attention but does not completely convert into appointments due to the lack of the value proposition that matters to the customer. Remaining 20% of the salespeople who are crushing appointments and deals are the ones who know how to press customers emotion button by talking about the why part of their product or service. In the same example of this shirt if I have to give you, instead of mentioning uh, wrinkle free or stain proof, they mention why prospects need this shirt for his important meeting or other events. Something like a great meeting can be ruined with not so great first impression. Shirt is the first visible asset to help build it. We help clients find the right shirt for their meeting to make a great first impression. Shirts that communicate their great personal brand and set the right tone for the great first impression. Would you be interested? And you will find that most of the prospect would be interested in learning the value proposition because it is personalized, highlights the true value proposition or what's in it for me that prospects can expect from it. And third being, it doesn't highlight the boring features at all. So these are the key elements that makes a great value proposition for the customer and help you nail maximum appointments. As such, this becomes the single biggest trait that you can inherit and become successful in sales. So I hope this helped uh, answer your questions and you can keep sending your questions. You can put those uh, questions in the comment down below. Uh, do express your views if you like it, if you don't like it, at least uh, this way uh, people will get to know about your views and at the same time you get a lot of visibility uh, to the like-minded people who would like to connect with you. And uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, do subscribe to my channel or if you are uh, following me on, uh, you're, you're watching it on LinkedIn, just follow me there and uh, keep sending in your questions. I will try my best to answer each one of those. Thank you very much. Goodbye.